Sky Soldiers, welcome to Vietnam. Serving in the 173rd Airborne Brigade means living under a heavy burden. But here's your chance to take on the legacy of freedom-fighting heroes from your unit's past. After the Gulf of Tonkin incident, it has become clear that it is here, in Southeast Asia, where the front line in the war on communism has been drawn. As President Johnson once said, we do not choose to be the guardians at the gate, but there is no one else. The communist offensive in South Vietnam must be stopped, or after the fall of Vietnam, other countries will fall, just like pieces of domino. America remembers the lesson from Munich and will never step down to the dictatorship. You will be fighting with a sinister enemy, leading its so-called war of liberation. But be sure that Viet Cong has nothing to do with liberty. It is all about enslaving the freedom-loving people of South Vietnam and subordinating them to North Vietnamese communists and their masters from Red China. We are superior in weaponry and training. Our cause is just. This will be a very short war. You will be celebrating Christmas back on Okinawa. I guarantee. Well, hello there, my friends. Today we're getting a look at just a fascinating and really interesting game here. Based on the Vietnam War, it's called Radio Commander. Have you ever wanted to be the guy back at the command post, receiving orders from men in the field, being able to call in artillery strikes, etc.? This is definitely the game for you. We're just going to jump into the single missions right now. There's not a lot available, as this is still very much early access, extremely early access. Uh, and we're going to just try the Hearts and Minds mission, so you guys get an idea of how this game works and just how in-depth it can really be. Well, good morning, Vietnam, folks. Guys, we're taking a look at the first mission here in Radio Commander. We are, of course, over here in this nice, warm, comfortable uh, command post, and we are going to be using this radio to contact our team. Now, at this point, we're going to send a radio message to let everybody know that we're online and we're ready to take a look at this village for possible Viet Cong activity. humidity at the level of 95 and 102 Fahrenheit degrees. Our today's task is simple. We are winning the hearts and minds of South Vietnamese citizens. Alpha Squad is visiting nearby village, making friends and chatting about Viet Cong activity. Bravo Squad lays on the hill, awaiting further orders. Over. All right, boys. This is Alpha 12, man. Reporting for duty. Out. All right, fair enough. Go ahead and take a look at the actual uh, map itself. So that's the location for the village there. Uh, and if we want to look around on the map, we can actually go ahead and drop uh, pretty much where we want our units to be. Now, the thing here is that these units aren't just going to magically pop up on the map. We're actually placing these markers down, and that's all they are are markers. You, you can use them. You don't have to use them. It's totally up to you. So obviously, zoom in and out. And we can see the representation of our units on the map <clears throat> as tokens. Once again, we're, we're, we can freely move, rename, or delete the tokens. But as it says here, they're just tokens. That's it. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted, guys. This is this is pretty uh, specific stuff. So let's go ahead and continue here. Current objectives are in the headquarters panel, um, and we can go ahead and take a look at that now. And pretty much, we want to village uh, visit the village of Bin San here and find out what the hell is going on. All right, so let's go ahead and accelerate the time lapse. We can do it with tab. You can also just do it by clicking this fast forward button. Uh, and once they get there, we'll see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and receive the radio calls. We're in a village, sir. Talking to the locals, giving them leaflets. There are a few Arvin soldiers here. They look awfully bored over. We got some South Vietnamese soldiers there, pretty bored, but. Our commander's about to explain why. ...village and befriend with the locals. But nights are too dangerous to stay outside the base. So every single evening, our brave Arvin boys are heading back home. And Victor Charlie are coming out of the forest to have a quick chat with elders about the politics and revolution. 
And when our Arvin boys are back in a few days, the whole village is anti-government again. And it's like this for ten years. Talk to those elders, Lieutenant. Out. Papa Bear, this is Alba. We have something. One of the Papa Sands claims there's Viet Cong camp nearby. Over. All right, let's take a look at this camp. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. Check it. Over. Roger. Out. All right, guys. So at this point, we want to search for any VC activity in the given location. This is one of the few times in the actual game where you'll actually get the marker put on the map for you. Uh, so in this case, we know that the camp is somewhere over here. We're going to order Alpha Platoon to go ahead and move towards that location. We can set it up manually or, well, manually as in clicking, or you can actually type in manually the coordinates. But we already know where we want to go. It's going to be somewhere over there. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. Move to Nina one zero by two seven Nina over. Now we've also got Bravo Squad to deal with, um, but I'm gonna probably keep them back and let Alpha do this patrol. This is Bravo. Alpha, over. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. Do you copy? Over. Alpha Platoon, this is Papa Bear. How's the situation down there? Do you need support? Over. All right, looks like the uh, the platoon commander agrees with me here. Um, we're just going to have them move in on their own. I don't want to waste people's lives needlessly, and besides, we might need Bravo to do something else later. Bravo platoon, this is Papa Bear. Wait patiently. Alpha, proceed on your own. Out. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. Waiting for orders. Copyright, out. All right, roger that. I hope they're moving towards the location. I think they are. Uh, if they don't get there soon, we'll go ahead and check with them. Do a sit rep. Papa Bear, this is Lieutenant Kovacs from Alpha Platoon. Me and the boys are talking about this whole hearts and minds situation. Giving leaflets to the Vietnamese, talking to the locals. Instead of, you know, sir, shooting the Charlie. Private Donaldson here thinks we're wasting our time. Uncle Sam has been trying to win this war for almost a decade now, with more and more grunts, money, and firepower. Jack Kennedy, may he rest in peace, was right. We can't win for Arvin and locals. It's their country and their business. We can only help. I hear you, sir. Wise words, if I may say. But Private Donaldson here says we should be shooting at something right now. And in this war as fast as possible. You should be easy for him, sir. He's from Mississippi, probably missing that sweet little sister of his. Sir, you know how close them southern families get. Wow, that's way too much information. <laughs> from Texas, Kovach. That's correct, sir. But Texas is on the better side of south. We are a whole nother thing there, sir. While Mississippi was still riding on alligators, we were defending the Alamo. All right, beautiful. I'm going to get a sit rep on these guys, um, just to make sure that they're actually moving towards the target. I guarantee you. Ow. Let's go ahead and Alpha Platoon, and we're just going to get a position report. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. What's your position? Over. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. Reporting position. Nice. So he's definitely moving towards the location. Going to go ahead and fast forward. And as you can imagine, guys, getting from that village over to the VC position or suspected position uh, can be uh, can take a while. It looks like there's some movement. Proceed with caution. Oh boy. Could be uh, VC contacts, guys. Got to be careful. No response yet. Man, scared the hell out of me. Papa. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We are at the waypoint. Nobody's here now, but definitely someone was here recently. There are signs of camping and some papers. I think it's a poem. Kendrick says it's something like, turn your grief into anger. 
All right, that's scary. Uh, definitely sounds like a nasty message. And this is actually one of the points in the game where we can make like a moral decision. Uh, if we say, I bet the villagers warn the enemy, then that village will be torched to the ground. But if we say Charlie left the place before we even talked to the villagers, they're going to keep that area. Um, they're not going to torch the village. They're just going to destroy the VC camp. But you know what? War is hell. I bet the villagers warn the enemy. Someone will have to talk with them one more time. Only without your diplomatic delicacy, Kovac. Burn the place to the ground and head for the LZ. There's no point in combing the forest now. Ow. And this burning might actually call attention to some uh, some VC soldiers nearby. But we're torching their camp or their suspected Papa camp. This is Alpha. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We are under attack from Niner 1, 8, 5, 2, 8, 4, L. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. Shooting at enemy at Niner 1, 8, 5, 2, 8, 4, out. All right, right now we're just going to get a sit rep um, report status. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. What's your status? Over. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We are exchanging fire. Reporting. All right, at this point, I'm going to order Alpha um, to engage. And this means an offensive engage. assault here. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. Engage. Over. Let him have hell. this is Alpha. Moving into position to engage the enemy at 9 all right, keep on going, boys. So as you can see here, we can always order to uh, engage or retreat. Um, engage units have greater attack but lower defense, while retreating units have greater defense stats. So don't think about it as like an actual retreat retreat, even though that is what it is. Uh, in this war, we're really just pretty much getting into a defensive retreat position, firing, retreating, firing, retreating, etc. All right, now we're engaged. We've got one wounded. That's not great. Got to do something about that. Keep on going. Holy hell. I'm not changing orders. I'm not changing those orders. Keep engaging. Don't give a damn. Come on. Just two Papa wounded. Oh. We wounded. We're not retreating, guys. We don't even know if we retreat. We might be out uh, in the open a bit more. So at this point, he wants us to call in some support, uh, specifically Cormorant 1. I need to find out where Charlie is. So I'm going to go ahead and report contacts. Alpha, this is Papa Bear. You see Victor Charlie? Report our contacts. Over. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We report enemy. Grunts around three. Man at Niner 1, 8, 5, 2, 8, 4. All right, guys, we're going to call in Cormorant 1. This is a napalm strike right there where he said the enemy would be. Let's keep our fingers crossed, and hopefully that enemy unit gets completely torched. Set the jungle on fire, boys. Papa Bear, this is Cormorant 1. Roger, get ready for fireworks. Out. Papa Bear, this is out. Another wounded there. Hold on, Alpha. All right, it looks like we got them. Unbelievably, it looks like Alpha actually got the kill on that without Napalm coming in yet. Um, Alpha's no longer under fire. They won that firefight. It was a bloody one, though. We should have re probably retreated once we got to, like, Casualty 3. Um, but that Napalm, I believe, is still coming in. I don't want to move the unit while that napalm is uh, outgoing, but it looks like we pretty much destroyed the unit. At least we'll hit any wounded enemy. Of course they do. They have their reasons to hate us, Kovach. Papa Bear out. Damn, Cormorant One! You burnt them good! Papa All right. Bear, this is Cormorant One. Job complete. Out. 
let's go ahead and get a um, action report on Alpha Platoon. Um, see if they'll give us a fight now, result report. This is Papa Bear. What's the encounter's outcome? Over. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We are not in a fight right now. Okay, I guess we're gonna find out at the end of the mission. Um, at this point, Alpha Platoon, we're gonna order them to move. And I think that's gonna be like five wounded. Hopefully we don't have any killed. Alpha, I won't feel so bad uh, if we don't have any killed because these guys can get to a hospital and uh, hopefully be back with us next week. All right. As always, guys, if you enjoy this channel and you like these indie games, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button comment down below and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel it really really does help us we'll definitely be doing some more radio commander and a bunch of similar games so we've got a lot of the same feel on this channel so again make sure to subscribe see some more interesting titles let's get to the end of the mission here all right destination reached Let's go ahead and uh, next hit. I believe we maybe we need to drop right on the LZ. Let's go ahead and get Alpha Platoon to move right there. Alpha, this is Papa. Papa, Papa. Sir, if I may, the fight today, it was intense. I've never experienced something like that. Yeah, that was a true hellish fight. I'm hoping that's going to be it. I hear you, Kovach. You boys have done well. Looks like somebody had his cherry pop today. Congratulations, my boy. From now on, you're a true American killer. Oh, shut up, preacher. Be serious. I don't think I should be writing about this in a letter to Lou Ann. To Lou Ann. <laughs> Who? All right, there we go, guys. That's a victory. Actually, incredibly well done on our side. We only had six wounded. Um, no killed in action. We wounded 29 Viet Cong soldiers and 11 killed in action. We decided not to bring in Bravo Platoon. Alpha gained a lot of battle experience, but Bravo still green. Uh, you've called for a nape drop, and as a result, some rice fields have been destroyed. It's not how you win hearts and minds. We obviously pissed off some farmers, and we didn't really need to destroy those rice fields, especially since uh, Alpha was able to pretty much waste that enemy unit completely by themselves without any sort of a napalm strike. During the debriefing, you mentioned your suspicion towards the villagers. In the coming weeks, your superiors decided to deport the villagers and burn their homes. Guys, we made life hell for those villagers. Is it going to help us in the future? I don't know. But this is one of the many kinds of missions you're going to be getting in this game. And as you can see, what happens in this mission is going to affect how the locals are going to see us on future missions. Anyway, as always, guys, hit that like button, comment down below, share with your friends, and please do subscribe to get some more strategy games and indie games that you're not going to be seeing in a lot of other places. Thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.